question number two. Uh, Rakam Isangma, Minister in Charge of Education, please, to reply. Sir, the reply of the sir, question number two. A. Sir, the service of the teachers appointed by administrator or deputy inspector of school prior to 2007 has been regularized as under. One, 1,985 number of government LP school teachers. Two, 461 number of LP school teachers posted at non government LP school. B. It, sir, does not arise in B of A above. Your supplementary question number one, please. Yes, please. Honorable Speaker, sir, <coughs> I want to place on record my sincere thanks to the government of Meghalaya, <coughs> the Education Department, for regularizing the service of uh, 461 number of LP school teachers posted at non-government LP school in the state. Having said that, there are notification and letters sent by the Education Department to the respective managing committee of different schools in the state, dated 9 June 2016, and the second one, 21st Feb 2023. My concern is with regard to the other school teachers who have been left out without regularizing them, apart from this 461. There are non-government school teachers who have been appointed by the administrator or the deputy inspector of school prior to 2nd June 1994. So what is the steps to be taken by the government for those teachers who have been left out till now, it's not yet been regularized. Uh, <coughs> sir, uh, this, uh, this teacher, 1,985 and 461, uh, this regularized teacher has been appointed by the uh, DI and administrator, but what what, what our uh, the members of, from Nongpo the state, I don't have, uh, I don't have the information right now with me, but, uh, but the point will be noted and we'll examine the matter. So the, question. the aggrieved teacher, they have met me as a delegation. I am informed that uh, when they went to the office of the uh, Deputy Inspector of School or the SDSEO. Now, they have been said that the appointment, which has been written as recommended by school authority, will not be regularized. And the appointment that has been appointed during that time, written as appointed by school authority, is being regularized, whether that is the fact or not. So I don't have the information in detail about this. I think I'll record notice. So I would uh, sincerely request the Honorable Minister and the Education Department to look into the matter so that the problem, the issues of the aggrieved non-government school teacher, it will be heard and this issue will be solved as soon as possible. That is my sincere request. Sir, point out it, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just so that uh, uh, we are all on the same page. Uh, sir, it is uh, just to add to what the Honorable Minister has just mentioned, that the concerns that were raised by the Honorable MLA from Nongpo, that these uh, teachers actually have been uh, really suffering for a very long time. And uh, Time and again, they had been coming to the government wanting this uh, entire situation to be resolved. And uh, these are very genuine cases uh, that we've faced. Uh, 
uh, that they faced. Uh, and uh, this uh, situation uh, is something that had to be resolved and a decision had to be taken. And that is the reason why in the past, in uh, the first MDA government, uh, it is the MDA government that took that decision to regularize these 461 non-government and these uh, government LP school teachers, which is a very, very big uh, step forward in uh, resolving many pending issues within the uh, education department, sir. Now, uh, after this was resolved, uh, there are certain sections that have come and uh, they are saying that uh, they are also within that category. So therefore, sir, these matters will have to be examined in detail. Now, the points that are mentioned by the Honorable um, MLA are, uh, are again, matter of details. It will be very difficult for us right now to uh, give any kind of a uh, clear uh, you know, information on that regard. But as I said, what my message and the, the point I want to make is that uh, this is precisely why we have done this, is because we are concerned about these teachers and we have resolved this issue for more than these 2,000 teachers that were pending for the last 30 years almost. It was pending, sir, close to 30 years. And it was uh, the past government from um, the MDA 1 which finally resolved this issue for the teachers. And uh, as per the rules and laws, we will examine the matter. And once we can examine, sir, as mentioned by Honorable Minister, sir, we'll be able to then take the correct step forward, sir. So I would urge uh, if any documents and papers that are there, they can always be given to the government, sir. <clears throat> sir, may I know from the Honorable Education Minister? Pardon. Yes, please. OK. Uh, what was the moat? of appointment for these teachers before they get regularization? Is there any procedure, policy that is being followed by the appointing uh, authority? Uh, so, so uh, at that point of time, so the, all the teachers were appointed on ad hoc, ad hoc basis, on temporary basis, prior to 2007. I mean, is there any procedure to be followed by the appointing authority, sir, even on the basis of an ad hoc appointment? Sir, I, uh, during those years, there was no streamlined system of appointment at that point of time. So as, as by the requirement, qualified teachers were appointed by DI and the uh, uh, DI of school of the particular district. And then the uh, number of uh, teachers which have been appointed on the ad hoc basis. Sir, in that case, do we expect in the future that there will be a kind like this where the government will have to regularize those teachers being appointed ad hoc by the appointing authority? No, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, Pat Gabriel. Gabriel Walambe. Yes. Uh, Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, it's a matter of concern regarding the teachers and the school, especially in the West Castle. Before, we have seen the appointment in the schools there where there are four teachers in the government school, and now there are only one. Some schools, there are only two teachers. So it's a matter of concern for the school and the education for, for the benefits of the students. So I would like to ask from the minister in charge, what are the steps or initiative taken by the government in order to fulfill the criteria of the schools that where there are four <coughs> teachers before and now there are two? So can it be made the same as what done before? Uh, so this is, uh, may I get a question again? So this a, uh, can see? Repeat the question, please. Mr. Vizcar, sir, just would like to know what are the initiatives taken by the, should be taken by the government to fulfill the number of teachers in these schools where there are less teachers? Uh, sir, there are certain schools we have lots of vacancies in, in, in all of the state. So government is examining to uh, send the teacher immediately, so uh, if there is a vacancy. Uh, 
we go to question number three.